have to say, this looks absolutely amazing. This is such a huge improvement from the previous version of Autogen Studio. It seems that it's been a little while since we've really heard something about Autogen Studio or at least anything significant until now. I'm really excited to go over this paper with you and see what all there is with the new version. So let's get into it. Okay, so this is the new paper. And as you can see, just from this screenshot, that is going to look so much different than what it currently does mainly because there are new features. But let's just go over, if you're new to Autogen Studio and what it is, let's just go over the, what this paper is saying and we'll get to these features. The idea of Autogen Studio is that it's built off the Autogen framework, which has developed over the past year into something wonderful. However, with that comes complexity, right? The more you're adding onto the framework to do more, the more complex it can get. And this is where Autogen Studio comes into play. So to address this situation, they present Autogen Studio, a no-code developer tool for rapidly prototyping, debugging, and evaluate, evaluating these multi-agent workflows. It provides an intuitive drag and drop UI for agent workflow specification, interacting the evaluate, interactive evaluation and debugging of workflows and a gallery of reusable agent components. And if you see with the screenshot, right, this is nothing at all what Autogen Studio used to look like this is now a drag and drop. See, there's an agent A, there's an agent B. Look, this is the, um, the agent A is the user proxy and it is executing code. B is a book generation group chat manager. And inside of here, there are three different agents and it looks like they're just dragging and dropping the model. So right here is GPT-4 Turbo. They're just dragging and dropping the models and adding skills, right? So this one's getting a uh, content agent is getting a web search and image agent is getting an image generator skill. Or tool, and I had to say that is an amazing. This this screenshot right here is an amazing improvement of what it used to look like. Now that I see this, I'm loving this. But what's interesting is this introduction of profiling capabilities with visualizations of messages and actions, and well, this metrics right here. Metrics is the main thing here. Is it looks like they're they're going to have a UI to show you, um, you know, what the costs are what tools were executed by which agents, what are the output for each of the agent and so forth. So if something, if something failed, you can now see where it was and then also how much your workflow cost you. And it is hard to debug some of these multi-agent workflows, especially the more complex they get, right? If something fails, yeah, I mean, you can have, you can have logging and print statements and what, or however you do it, but still to see exactly how the agent, that specific agent failed and why it failed, it can be difficult. So it looks like here they have a related work section where they talk about uh, agentic implementation, such as React, which is the reason and acting for LLMs. They have uh, LangChain for Harrison Chase uh, and so forth. They, this is just kind of um, saying about what some people have done and some limitations to have better architectures for multi-agents. All right, and I'm just gonna go over these concepts really quick, just in case, you know, some of you, a lot of you may already know these, but these are like gonna be the main components of Autogen Studio, which is why they're highlighting here, right? It's, it's this whole drag and drop experience now. So with the with the model, you know, this is, you're gonna be able to pick the model to generate whatever it is, image text, uh, skills slash tools. You know, you're gonna, I think you can, it looks like you can still, if you want to, code your own tool, and then you can probably drag and drop that onto whichever agent. And it looks like they may be implementing memory, so short term, you know, this is the normal, or long term, right? So they can, we can have vector databases, which would be nice to have um, in Autogen Studio. I will look further in the research paper, see if they're gonna implement that, but that would be really nice to have. And of course the agent, and then you can, it looks like you can combine um, like workflows together to create these groups of agents or like a group chat, or you can have a single agent or whatever it is, you know, and scrolling down a little bit here, what they're kind of just getting at is that, you know, there are limitations um, whenever you have all of these together that like, you know, it can be hard to basically have reusable templates or be able to bootstrap some workflow, you know, it can be hard. So they try to get rid of that just by providing this visual interface. And they're gonna and they're gonna kind of hone in on the design goals, which is to have rapid prototyping, developer tooling. So these tools, um, you know, we can help understand what's happening with agent behaviors. And this is gonna help us, you know, facilitate the improvement of these systems by understanding quicker and easier what's happening and they have reusable templates now this they had a gallery section right that present a 
gallery of reusable shareable templates. It could be just still in the same gallery section, but you know, that was a little different. So hopefully it's improved with, um, with this next version of Autogen Studio. So they have a playground view, which is going to be used for tax task execution, workflow debugging and options to export and deploy. The gallery view facilitates the reuse and sharing of the templates, which is what I just talked about. Now this kind of confirms it. And then here they're, you know, they're just going over some templates that they have for, um, for agents, like assistant agent, a group chat, uh, uh, agent and so forth, right? This is, that's all pretty standard stuff with Autogen. Saying workflows can be tested in the build view, which you know we could we did already um, in the previous version, I believe, or was made the playground view, uh, but more systematically explored within the playground view. Okay, so the playground view allows users to create sessions, which again we were able to do in the previous version. Attach workflows to the session and then run tasks. So either single shot or multi turn, basically group chats or just a one to one, um, or just an interacting with one agent. Autogen Studio provides two features to support debugging. First, it provides an observe view where as tasks progress, messages and actions performed by agents are streamed to the interface and all generated artifacts are displayed. So files uh, such as images, code, and documents. And now let's go ahead and look at the new interface. And here, all they're really saying is the backend API, the front end web UI, and kind of what it looks like, but look at just look at how this looks. This looks absolutely amazing. This is a huge upgrade from the way it used to look and the amount of information that you can gather from this. So it looks like they're in the playground session right now. And so they just asked you to create a children's uh, PDF book with four pages, okay, each describing the weather in Seattle. So then the it says the agents have completed the task, right? So this again, this was uh, part of the group chat manager. The, all these agents. So it's saying the agents have completed the task. And then the children's PDF book titled Weather in Seattle uh, has been created with descriptions and everything. The book should now be available as Seattle Weather Children's Book PDF on your system. You can now view and ensure that it meets your expectations. If everything looks good, that completes our task. If you need any further assistance or modifications, please let me know. So it gave a total of seven files. So I guess just uh, all, like it created the children's book compiled with seven images. And, and on the right side here is talking about the profiler, which now says the group chat manager, right? This is the amounts of tokens that were generated. It costs 15 cents. The, uh, then it get, breaks it down, you know, so the content, uh, this is probably the, the agent that was creating the images, the user proxy. Or no, I'm sorry. Here's the image generator. Uh, you know, this is only 1% and the content is 12 cents. So I can't imagine the image generator only being one penny. Um, but then they have a QA um, agent. So this is it, this is amazing, right? The way this looks and then um, how many the total messages between all of the agents. So it looks like maybe they were uh, between the user proxy and the group chat. There were probably, you know, here's about 17. And then the user proxy probably had like six. So, you know, a fair amount of, you know, it, it's been a fair amount of messages sent from everybody. And then tool, then, then here's all the tool calls, right? It says which ones were successful and which ones failed. So, you know, it looks like uh, it, some of these failed. And th the thing about this is it's telling you and giving you the metrics for what has happened with this, right? That's the amazing part about this. And now you can deploy workflows. Autogen Studio does enable users to export workflows as a JSON config file, which they kind of did have before, but the, what they're, what you're able to do now is an exported workflow, uh, can be put into any Python application, right? So if you just have some Python code or you know how to do that, then you can execute this, uh, as an API endpoint using the Autogen Studio CLI or wrapped in a Docker container, right? So they, you know, you just, you don't have to actually, um, pip install Autogen. You can just do from Autogen Studio import workflow manager. You can give it the JSON file that you exported and then it can run it, right? And then, um, you know, this is basically the workflow that you had created. So you can say, what is the height of the Eiffel Tower, for instance? This is probably just a simple one to one agent interaction. But I mean, this is such an improvement of what you were able to do. And then now finally, we're going to come down to the usage and evaluation. And what it looks like here is the uh, this is the Autogen Studio uh, GitHub issue visualization, right? So they kind of grouped uh, everything together and, you know, said so the plot of GitHub issues from the Autogen Studio repo. User feedback ranged from support with workflow 
uh, authoring tools to general installation. So they kind of grouped everything together and probably tried to figure out how can we solve the problem for everybody that was kind of that, that we were kind of having with Autogen Studio. Because at the end of the day, it was kind of, I don't want to say bare, it did get you, it allowed you to prototype um, agents really quickly. But even like after you did that, right, there wasn't much, it felt like there wasn't much more you could do with it. Like something was kind of missing. And it looks like they're trying to fix all of that with this new version of Autogen. And then we're, they're talking about design patterns and research directions. Um, so, you know, we kind of already talked about the define and compose workflow. This is allows users to author workflows by basically dragging and dropping everything together to create the multi-agent workflow. And then the debugging and sense making tools. Um, this is just what we've also talked about, like the profiler views, all the metrics, these help you debug, interpret, and uh, understand the behavior and outputs of your systems using the no code method, right? Again, because this is no code, you don't have the typical logging methods, which aren't easy with multi agents. So they came up with something so that we could have, we could see more of what's happening under the hood. You know, and then they have export and deployment, there's uh, collaboration and sharing, you know, and how do we understand uh, the multi agent system designs, you know, and then optimizing the multi agent systems, you know, so this is kind of the, the questions that they're asking that they want to improve upon in the future. Well, this is Autogen 3.0, and I would actually say that because this is such an improvement from the previous version. I am really excited for this. I hope you are excited too. And in the meantime, I have a couple courses you can take related to AI, and one of them is Autogen. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next video.